My enemies are many. My equals are none. Welcome back to part 43 of my France campaign for Napoleon Total War with Darth Maud. We continue where we left things off last time. And probably by the time this goes out on YouTube, it will have been about a month since part 42. I was on paternity leave. I didn't get a chance to pre-record any episodes of this. And then when I came back from paternity leave, I've been running at like 50% capacity. And um, Warhammer's kind of taken my, my focus along with a bit of Crusader Kings. But we are back. Um, I will be definitely trying to get more of this out next week as well because we are pretty close to our finale i i will probably try and aim to just stream and record the the final parts of this campaign as i outlined at the end of the last episode we've got to blast through some turns to get the staff college and the engineer school done so we can get our best possible troops out for our final armies and then we will push against russia uh with those new armies which we will give one of them over to napoleon and I don't know, we'll probably only have space for two armies and we'll probably send another one to this uh, northeastern front here. Um, Bernadotte we've pulled back because we realised that Russia was actually starting to gather some pretty large forces on the border and that could go bad for us. So, And we were attritioning. So we've pulled all our armies back for the winter. Uh, I think we are just kind of biding our time. We're seeing if there's anything we can build anywhere. Got this army over here. Which actually this is this is one of the new armies, isn't it? The new forces. Um Messena could have a new force. It's got the artillery APA. And the experimental house. It's got the young guard in there as well. Um I'm gonna bring you over here for now. We might shuffle you around a little bit. Istanbul, we are building up as much as we can. Do, 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 do. Where did I see a port that we can upgrade? <clears throat> do, 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 do. There we go. Army of Italy is holding that. It's all fine. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice. It's all croaky and crackly still. I'll get over it in a minute, hopefully. Just checking we've got everything upgraded that we can because might as well and then I can just let the money pull on in. Which I think actually is what I've done for a few turns actually. Kind of remembering where we were. But we might as well set a load of upgrades in. Why not? A large navy ready to take my new elite armies across. We can do some little upgrades here. Lovely. And in Bordeaux. Anything in Britannia. Nope, just a lot of militia. Great, all of our industry. Get some infrastructure into Ireland. Lovely. Right. Oh, we've actually managed to spend all of our cash. Splendid. Right. Let's blast through an end turn phase. Uh, now, because I'm streaming this and recording at the same time, actually, I was going to say to chat if anyone was uh, on the stream the other day when I was last streaming some Fall of the Samurai. I actually um, announced that I'd never seen Band of Brothers before. I'd never actually watched it. Um, don't know why, because it's 100% something I would enjoy. Um, but actually, last night, I I signed back up to Now TV, which has got Band of Brothers on in the UK. Uh, also because um, it's going to be where I can watch um, House of the Dragon. And I binged through the first three episodes 
and I'm very much enjoying it so far. So, um, yeah, I am correcting my heinous mistake. And it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty darn awesome so far. I can I hopefully I can be forgiven by those that watch that stream and were like in horror like what Lionheart you've never what what why why would you do this and I'm sorry right I've got that army there it's like acting as reserves it's Mura's old army this is Mura's new cavalry heavy force yeah we just I mean we things we don't want to push anyway in winter so this is all fine. Um, you go here. You go to the logging camp. And then you'll all replenish. Actually get some more generals in as well. So let's do that. We'll send this unit back. Goucher. There we go. You lead in there. Lovely. So I'm going to try and watch a few more episodes of it tonight. I think Band of Brothers. And then I'll get back to... I still need to finish off Shogun. Hey, Miss Senna, would you like a new army? Did that was another Messena though? Yeah, another one. It's the same one, right? Yeah. Interesting. There you go. The young guard. Very potent and powerful. Now, I don't think there's anything else we really need to worry about doing this turn, so I'm just going to blast her another end turn so that we can start recruiting our very best troops from Paris. I have watched the Pacific, yeah. I haven't watched Masters of the Air. I have seen the Pacific, though. Right, at last, the Staff College in Paris is complete. Winter attrition of that force. Yeah, there we go. Alright, back to Paris. Let's unleash the best of the best. So there's Grenadiers, Acheval. Um, Carabiners. Polish Guard Lancers and Dutch Guard Lancers. And then where are they? Where are they? We've got Guard Seamen. Old Guard. We can have four of them. We've already got one in Napoleon's army that's lasted all this time. We'll chuck them in. The guard seamen. And we'll go for... Have we got other troops unlocked with that? Or is that them? Is that it? I think that's it. Everything else has hit their limit. Which is fine. Because it means it won't take that long to get our final troops out. Our final forces. So, yeah. Go for you guys. Just queue them all up. There we go. Four turns on that. Two more turns left on the engineer school. It begins. And we will have this with salt. Lovely. And then we can march them down to Marseille and then get them over here. So I don't know if we'll get a battle today, but this is very much going to be the organizational episode. Getting our forces into place. Oh, well, we do got this other army up here. Yeah, we, we sent two armies, hadn't we? Two armies from that we'd been building up before. This is our our elite force here. So maybe, maybe we'll press the attack and we'll fight a battle against um, Holland, even without the other 
two forces. I say two forces. It might only be one army of elites, actually. It comes over to Napoleon. We'll get that first army moving as quickly as we can so that Napoleon can look to move through here. We'll blast our way through. If we fight, face a full stack army, we'll fight it. If not, hopefully that army in Moscow will stay put and that can be our final battle for the campaign because that is all we've got to take to to win. And then we'll just have a finale, a bonus finale episode, essentially, where we do the scenario battle for Waterloo. Right, end the turn again. Technological advance. Is that the final? No, we still got quite a few stuff. We're going on to rock. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I'll, I won't get to rockets in this campaign. Rocket troop. Because it's going to be over by the time that's researched, I would have thought. And it is early March. It's spring. Good. Yeah, still got another turn on the engineer school, so we leave all that doing its stuff. Um, ba, 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 ba. Right, so we could actually now resume marching you guys down here, ready to push. Because you won't be taking attrition again. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. No. They've done a damn naval invasion. How have they managed that? Where did you come from? What the deuce? Oh, I've been had. Bernard Dot. Rut row. Didn't even clock that properly. Uh oh. How did you guys manage that? I guess you've got those ships there, so that what you, you know, you would have been caught by these guys, surely. Where did you come from? Did you sneak all the way up through the forest somehow? Sneaky Russian boys. Um, I don't hold that port, so I can't easily send these guys up. I was thinking I could unleash this army against them. Move to the forest to catch them there. And then this army moves to hold the bridge. Here. To put pressure on them. And Davo, yeah, moves the bridge there. So everything is secured. More grenadiers of the line. There we go. Oh, dang it. I've been... I've been Napoleoned. That's frustrating. I've been hoodwinked. I've been had, I tell you. Intelligence is everything. loads of little bits we could disband but at this point there's just no need to worry about it I 
Just set everything up. Oh, there we go. There's a little bit more there. It's not a huge amount more of upgrades we could do. I was initially thinking, was like, oh yeah, I won't go around spending stuff, but largely most things, most places have only got like one further upgrade they can do, or we've already done it. So they're all set. Right. I think the treasury just starts building up now until next turn, then we can get more elite artillery out. The uh, Grand Battery of the Convention, I believe, is the best artillery in the game for France. Or in Darth Mod, I should say, as well. They asked me to surrender Finland. Uh, never. Are they going to siege it and not press the attack? Oh, those foolish Russians. That'll give Bernadotte time to race back. And see him off. Oh, it looks like we will get a battle today. Wonderful. We've got a spy network in the Vatican now. Lovely. Right. Grenadiers are cheval. Solid. And then artillery. Where is it? Grand. Battery of the convention. Only one. All we can get. I'm assuming the rest of the artillery has already been taken. Yeah. So what we... Sh oh, we can have uh, artillery a cheval. Let me look at what actually that added in engineer school. Artillery a pie. Yeah. So that's why I want to steal from the other one probably. So Grand Battery of the Convention is a beast of damage. Uh, I'll probably chuck it in with a load of 12 pounders to support. Uh, get the extra lancers in there. Is that the Empress Dragoons? Yeah, heavy cavalry. Get all of them. And then, yeah, the rest of this infantry for the army. Looks like we're just going to probably have the one, one additional force. Which is fine. They'll be ready in two turns. Send that to upgrade Napoleon's army and then we can push. Other than that, now it needs to be done. Although actually I will keep this army close by now because I'm going to steal some of your artillery as well. To join Napoleon's force. But Bernadotte has a battle to fight. Against the Russians. To save Finland. Because somehow, they stuck an army past us. In we go. Let's do it. Prepare the battle lines. They do have artillery of their own, don't they? So we're going to need to get rid of that with a couple of opening volleys. Oh, that, they've got that one stuck stuck behind there. Good, good, good. Um, we're probably best... ...set to just open up... ...where we deploy. It doesn't look too bad. Barely open for that canister shot. You go a little bit to the left. There we go. There's room for a unit to go in between you. And we've got a strong center artillery presence. And then we'll pop these guys. It's one. I have to come all the way over here, but that's where, <clears throat> where they've got a lot of troops. And this one 
over in the center of the clearing. Do the same thing. Lovely. Right. Cavalry. I'd rather... I was rather trying to overwhelm a flank, but actually we are going to want to go for the two groups to deal with theirs on each side. But we'll put them very wide over on the left to try and draw some of them out there. Pop the rest of the infantry into groups of three with two in the final group. And you guys will go there. Have a very solid grenadier center. You could put those guys on the wall to support further round over towards that cannon. Can't put them all on at the start though. So we'll have those three across there. These two spread out there in the trees. Set them back just a smidge and angle them up. And then those final two can look after our cannon over here. So it doesn't mean it means we don't have any troops in reserve. But I think we can get away with it. Don't want them quite at such an angle. That'll do. Lovely. That looks good. position very nice really hope one day we get this mechanic and feature back in total war to be honest which if the rumors are true that they're doing a world war one title at some point as one of their next one of the next games whether it's the next one or the one after the next or something like that this would make a lot of sense surely being able to take up defensive positions That is a bit worrisome about that artillery piece. I'm going to have to draw the line back. Let's take advantage of it. To the maximum. So we'll send the cavalry in across. Move you guys up over here. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. If that artillery gets hit there, though, then I can't redeploy it. Oh, I might have just gotten lucky enough. Yep. Core cool. overlapping fire. Just stopped it in time. Because if they get attacked, the horse and cart will run away. Just did it in time. Keeps you all together. You just managed to get all the Warhammer DLC for less than 100 quid. Awesome. Nice. Solid deal. Send my cavalry over to the left. Going to try and swoop on in and take out the enemy artillery. And I'll do the same thing supporting the cavalry over here. So the enemy has no chance. Taking out one of my artillery pieces there. Don't 
don't think we're going to get many of them into this bit here, but that's fine. It's a nice defensive position to have. in against the artillery which is being brought forward because they realize they're firmly out of position and not where they need to be move that unit up through the trees a bit A chance to draw them in here where we've got a really nice opportunity to cause some fairly significant damage also i have to be very careful setting up cancer shock because if they spray it over here we'll clip all these guys so we'll just leave these guys all firing having fun sir sir our general is under attack let them fire from that side we'll come in fire on them from here and their force will be shattered what if they would add barbed wire you'd like to think so barbed wire and the main thing i think i think it's going to be really stand out as to whether or not it's successful or not is how they build trench warfare systems and mechanics into the game because obviously they're a mainstay part of the period and of the fighting but they've got to be done in a way that's interesting and engaging and doesn't feel like every battle engagement just turns into a massive drawn out slow slog how they achieve that I don't quite know but they're going to need you know mechanical overhauls and implementation of defensive structures positions One of the ways that I hope that they would kind of um, promote a World War One title would be about changing up the battlefield like never before um, and having like fully destructible environments, terrain and, and everything in between because that is, you know, very much what happened to to the battlefields of the, of the, of the period and of the time, especially with the introduction of artillery. What once was an open field suddenly became a mountainous mess of trenches, artillery shells, churned up earth. So hopefully they find ways to kind of reflect that within a World War One title if that is indeed what they do. Get that cavalry in there. But they're right into Swiss Grenadiers, so I'm really not too worried. We have killed their general, sir. Now they must break. You guys are all good. You didn't actually lose your. Uh, horses very surprised by that break their morale with mass cavalry charge so far breaking apart their formation seems pretty good yeah they've lost oof, like 50 60 odd just went very quickly then they're reforming and striking us over on our left
save one. Send him out. Pull them back. They've been engaged too long. But they have held up this unit, importantly. Charge them in before they get shot to bits. Send them sweeping in. Okay, broken that unit. Pull it back now. You're going to have to pull back around this way. Set fire forward there. Try and do set you guys up here and tell you to fire in advance. It's already broken, that's fine. Move up. Them to charge again before they've got a chance to stand properly. Nice. Huge damage on that line straight away. Move over there to fire in advance. Stop firing with these guys. Warm up ready to strike that unit. They form square. Well, let's just go shoot them to bits. Should do the job. Give them their attack order. They'll fire. Next rank will move forward. Fire. Next rank will move forward. And fire. Next rank will move forward. And fire. Next rank will move forward and fire. I think they've got clear line of sight to actually get some shot off, though. Oh, they're getting some of them. Really hope we get more firing modes and drills and things like that in a, again, another seri uh, similar kind of period-based game. That'd be very satisfying. They all fire, and then they charge. And engage. Kind of a great way if you're going to send a unit into melee just to get some final shots off before they push for the melee. Solid charge. 
smash through their force there. They were outnumbered to start with. They're bringing it pretty close. We send the cavalry in now to finish things off. Should be enough to win the day. Yeah, they've won here. Catted them. Pull it back. And there we go. That's the break. We'll end it there. Heroic victory. There we go. We lost 1,059. We had 8,000 deployed. Uh, they lost 4,169 of their 5,572 strong force. Damn. Okay. Compress the attack. We'll all resolve it and probably lose more than we did in that last battle, but we don't need to fight that. Oh, no, it's okay. Finish him, Cav. Oh, that one, that one lost. 500, we'll have to do 500 casualties there, I think. Mad. Anyway, it's dealt with. This army <clears throat> will stay here in ambush. It'll catch anyone coming up on the road. Bernadotte, you can replenish your force a little bit. Uh, we've done everything else we need to do, didn't we? Cool. End the turn. Um, for the ones we need, yeah, and then we'll get them marching. Lovely stuff. We'll bring up the extra troops as well, just to filter into our other forces. Um, bring Bernadotte back down here. Well, actually, no, you know what? We'll make him king of Finland with his army. We'll actually just leave him there. Um, which means, I guess, I was thinking, do we need other troops to push? But that one can hold there on St. Petersburg. And these guys can, yeah, press the attack through there. Soon, very soon. I know we, we could start pushing now, but I want to push and not stop, basically. So, one more turn. Let's just get to a point where that army is hopefully over towards Napoleon. And then next episode, next stream, I might make it like an extra long one end up being like an hour and a half to two hour episode where we have plenty of battles I mean, it couldn't even be the it couldn't even be the final one to be fair uh, apart from obviously then doing the waterloo battle but i guess yeah this this will come to a close next week one way or another and then I know we kind of threw, throughout this Let's Play, we threw around the idea of potentially doing a Peninsula campaign. But what I think I'd like to do before maybe exploring that is to go and do a couple of one-off streams with the PUA mod and Empire 2 mod for Empire Total War and see if either of those take my fancy. If they do, because I have heard really good things about those mods, if they do and I feel like it improves the game, then I will probably look to do a new uh great britain campaign in empire total war i think to kind of revisit one of those original campaigns that i, that I did all that time ago
Yeah, they're going to go much slower because they've got artillery. They're making their way. I mean, normally you have like crews of 48 with four cannon. The Grand Battery of the Convention, I believe, is it's a, it's a 12 pounder, I think. Um, but they've got slightly more accuracy, same range, oh no, slightly more range, 880. Uh, but there's eight guns rather than four. So it's utterly disgusting. Just so that we don't leave Paris without like a decent force, I'm just going to throw in a load of grenadiers. To leave behind. Right. Now the last few months. To prepare. And then we push. Yeah, I'll probably I was thinking next week. I'm not a hundred percent sure on what my best days would be for like a really I was trying to see if I could fit in a like a full day of just streaming stuff. I think maybe Wednesday might work for that. So we will probably include Napoleon maybe in the morning and do a Napoleon finale. At least try and set like three ish hours aside for that. That should be enough. I think that's what we'll try and do. And then, yeah, probably won't be next week. But perhaps the week or so after, we'll um, look to just kind of do some one-off streams and recordings of those, of the PUA mod and the Empire 2 mod. Just see which one I like most and if I would like to do a Let's Play with one of those mods, like a full series. Uh, and that'll be our, our new historical series for the for the channel. Probably by the time we get around to starting that, it'll also fall of the samurai will have also finished. Um, so I'll kind of be able to neatly tie up that campaign and then have a like dedicated slot. Indian. Why well, have I got so many Indian? Okay, let's check, go check them on a trade node over here for coffee. Pop them all onto ships. And then bring you guys around here. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know the difference between, like, what the major differences are between PUA and um, Empire 2. I've heard, I've heard good things about both, to be honest. Um, seemingly, I mean, there's always a chance for instabilities, but seemingly... Not many people are complaining about there being as many instabilities, so I think that was always like a bit more of a Darth mod thing. So that's that's promising. That's good. That's what I'll look to do there. Um, also kind of just hope, hoping that next week as well, I can probably start my new Mandalord series towards the end of the week. Maybe on like the Thursday. Because obviously the new patch is out for that and I think it's in a good place now for another run. And also I want to start the kind of the side series of that, which is Manators. So we'll see about trying to do all that as well. And then the following week is when I'll be looking to start my new Banlord campaign on the Realm of Thrones mod uh, to do a Lost Targaryen run to kind of nicely coincide with the with uh, Season 2 of House of the Dragon. It won't obviously be set within the Dance of Dragons. There is a Dance of Dragons mod being developed, but it's not ready yet. Um, but I'll be looking to do my Lost Targaryen run of... Trying to support Daenerys and her claim to restore House Targaryen to the Iron Throne. Yeah, 
Let's send those ships there. Send you guys on to the coffee there. How much is that generating? A nice little bit. Trade is king. And then let's send you here. Yeah, there is also that new um, a Game of Thrones mod update due as well for Crusader Kings. If that if that came out as well, then I might have to consider dropping my some of my plans and just doing that next. Right, we'll sort out our armies with Napoleon next turn. Because we'll give him a new force kind of grabbed together from a mix of stuff. And then we will begin pushing. We will begin pushing. We'll have a battle against their full stack armies over here. Um, we've got Polish Legion there. I mean, in fact, we maybe we want Napoleon to strike that one. Because that gives him a good initial fight. And then he can replenish. And then look to deal the final blow to Russia at Moscow. So maybe that's what we'll aim to do there. So we'll take a, a turn or two to get him into place. But that's fine. We'll do one more in turn for now just so that we can get um we can start next stream uh, potentially our our final episode if we just do one big one maybe um depends on how many battles we have and how long they take but uh, if we can get everything prepped and ready so that we're good to start fresh fresh movement and everything else fresh troops at the start of the next stream and recording Pump for all my new streams Probably Man Lords again. Yeah, I am looking forward to getting back into Man Lords. Like it's been it's been quite an exercise of restraint, actually, not just diving diving in. So I'm hope hoping yeah, hopefully we can start that next week. Hopefully on Thursday, if not Friday, I guess. Some stuff being built. I might do one final pass as well. Next stream. Next episode. See if we can fit uh, any more buildings in. But we'll kick things off next time by getting Napoleon out with his old guard. And forging the strongest army possible with everything that we have arrayed between these forces here. Because um, artillery this young guard will want to probably put in as well. And then, I guess, yeah, probably the strongest force in the area that might give us a nice big old battle, a true test of Napoleon's new army, is going to be that army at um, uh, Podolia. So that's where we'll probably send Napoleon. And we'll have Napoleon strike first, so there'll still be another turn or two to move him into place. And then we will unleash all these armies. That's the plan. So, don't miss the finale of our France campaign adventure next week, both on streams and recordings. Until then, hope you've enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.